Okay, for tonight we're going to do a final set of a few charts, uh, put my comments through and listen carefully, take down some notes so you know what I'm talking about. Let's, m let's move on to um, uh, Facebook, another very popular player. Facebook, uh, I'm going to leave this line here. Here's a weekly perspective of Facebook. Let's see what, what uh, where I think it's going, what it's going to do here. So looking at Facebook here, you're going to see that Facebook, just like those other big uh, technology companies, came down. It never came down to the 50-day, 50 50-week 50 moving average, mind you, okay? So it held its ground. It stayed at the 34, this orange line, which was still with slope sloping higher. Once this starts to turn down, and God forbid this crosses over the 50-day, all, all hell breaks loose, okay? That's a, that's a multi-month uh, bear market type of move. But none of that situation happened. None of that situation happened. There are big strong supports here. There's the 50 day sloping up. There is the Bollinger Band here. This gray one is the mid Bollinger. And then we have the upper Bollinger. So now what it's done, and the reason I left this downtrend line on, is pretty obvious. This thing has broken its downtrend line. Uh, what did I do? Okay. This was the steep downtrend line that uh, Facebook had to endure. It's broken up. First week we have a bright bright powerful red candle I mean sorry re uh, a green candle we have the stochastics and the McClellan starting to creep up very positive and again I'm keeping this very simple so everyone can understand first stop for Facebook is 6177 call it 62 bucks okay probably gets there by tomorrow tomorrow then we have this level here we have this level here these two you know see these tails here and that's around 64 I'm rounding off the numbers here. Over 64, Facebook is free to go. It can free to do what it wants to do. It can climb up all the way to 76 or, or to 72 and change or stay here at around 68. But this line of 64 is very important. 63, you know, high 63, 64 bucks. Pretty much right around the corner. What's the downside? Well, we can clearly see that. The downside is breaks down below 56. This line here four points from here 56 and then it falls directly to the 50 day moving average at 50 what a coincidence same numbers and the lower Bollinger can that happen sure anything can happen in the market so um, but this is what I see realistically speaking over the short term 62 64 and then after that the real power move that's when every idiot who never asked who never came and touched the stock in, uh, sub 60 below 60 comes in and says buy it because it's going to the moon all right same old story everywhere um, let's look at uh, what was the other one I was gonna go look at let's did I look at Tesla let's look at Tesla okay one of my favorite stocks here um, short term to play Tesla's weekly chart Tesla is right here this is a very powerful very very powerful point here and that point is 201.69 call it 202 let's call it 201.50 okay it's right there it breaks above that it's gonna go straight up to 221 and above 221 just like Facebook it's got open air to move up to 262 um, can it happen I have no idea but you know what Tesla is a powerful stock heavily shorted it can move I still believe we get to with the 220 level in a hurry and this week I believe we get to with the 208 level um, right now it's here and after hours it's a $200 psychological point after that it moves okay um, so that's Tesla for you I'm trying to look at uh, another little stock this is the one I showed the other day uh, as a swing play in traction in Traxon Corporation Biotech this is a um, I think it's a decent looking uh, channel play here uh, I see the up, uh, upper end of the channel at 23 stock is here nice doji inside week um, moved up from the lows of um, moved up from the lows of 13 four points is nothing I think it hits about 19 and above that it's got this room to cover so something as a swing play to uh, keep in mind um, if you want to get the news and the detailed stuff on it, please look it up yourself. On a technical basis, it generally bounces off the lower channel. This is a pretty big reversal hammer. You can see that the tail 
of the 13 level consolidating and then it goes okay so I say by next week we get towards 19 uh, and then we move higher I think it hits the 22 mark rather quickly let's look at MasterCard doing very well for me I have MasterCard calls from about 60 cents there are uh, I believe uh, I didn't even bother looking at it there are somewhere around like 150 160 right now so let me move all the drawings out of here and look at MasterCard beautiful chart here this is starting to really shape up hit the 50 day which never budged you know never crawled down stayed up very powerful learn how to read this chart simplest way Bollinger is pointing down this needs to start to curl up which it will as this stock you know, Bollinger is nothing but a function of where the candles are okay where the price is so as the price moves higher they tend to move higher I mean not 10 they will be pulled up so wh with MasterCard I am looking at 77 as the major breakout and over 77 we're gonna hit 80 real fast after that if it does get up above 80 then we have that 80 86 gap to fill will this pattern be completely reversed I have no idea but I do know that MasterCard uh, calls the weekly calls are cheap the stock can be bought even though it's a slow one two three dollar mover but the calls trip double and triple rather fast so worth looking at them okay so MasterCard is looking good your support everyone knows here is around 71 that's four points from here uh, below 71 we're looking at 66 uh, but so far we have uh, strong support at 73 it's got a beautiful weekly candle here which I think resolves on the upside and then um, and then we you know just cover these levels uh, talking 80 uh, if 75 63 goes to 80 the calls which are at about a buck 50 are gonna go to about five bucks okay just letting you guys know so that covers all the stocks and stuff today I hope all this is very helpful I will as time goes on make a lot of improvements on the website I'm working on it working very hard to get to help everyone um, I will also organize data so people will see it more clearly I will uh, it's very time-consuming what I do these video casts uh, these uh, real-time stuff I don't have a staff of 10 doing this stuff so your uh, vote of confidence and support is very very important very big reminder people need to renew their subscriptions everyone who uh, came in between May, April 15th and May 22nd um, will need to renew once more and then it'll be on a recurring basis automatic renewals but for now you have to re uh, re-sign back or resubscribe back nobody's been kicked out yet my tech administrator gave me a call today and said that there are people using the service who whose uh, membership haven't been removed mo uh, renewed and it's past their due date so he just asked me to put reminders up there which I did so please uh, respect it um, you know we're putting in our grunt work people some people need to get paid for their work not me necessarily uh, I always like to remind people my main money comes from my trading um, this is uh, good the subscription but you know there are people out there who are helping me put all these things together and they need to get paid so just keep that in mind bring your friends in we are making a very decent sum of money if you're following uh, and acting on my very timely calls um, and if you're not there's still a lot of chances left that's the beauty about the market good night we shall re-engage tomorrow thank you